Hello friends, Tony here. In this video, we're going to work with uh, type aliases and interfaces in TypeScript. Till now, so we have defined a variable, let my boolean here, and then colon and define a type, and then we assign the value. Okay, but TypeScript allow types to be defined separately from the variables that use them. Okay, so we can define a type separately from the variable that use them. And aliases and interfaces allow types to be easily shared between uh, variables or objects. Now, type aliases allow defining types with a custom name. Let's say, uh, using a type keyword, and yeah, type my number to be equal with a number. So my number is a name, alias, which is going to be a type number. And maybe let's say here my, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it my number. And also I'm going to create one more. So a type keyword, my string to be a string, or we can say just for better here, I'm going to say my age to be a number and then my name to be a string. And also I'm going to say my email to be able of string. So we have a type alias as my age, a name and my age, which is a type number. Uh, my name is string and my email is a string. Now type aliases can be used for primitive like a string and number or more complex types such as uh, objects and arrays. So let's try that. Let's create a type now on object type. Yeah, a person and this person is going to be equal with an object so this type person is an object and here we add a name property which is a type my name now my name is a string age my age is a number and email which is a type of my email which is a string okay so we have type my age my name my email and type person now let's go to object and here we declare a variable and then we assign that to an object and then we define the properties in here. But with type aliases, we create a person type and now we can use this person type to different variables. So let's say a const person, which is going to be a type of person, which is the custom type we created, a type alias, which has a name property. And this name property is a type my name, which is a string, an age, which is a type my age, which is a number and email, which is my email and is type of string. As you can see, we have name the John, age the 30 and email the any email here. If I changed this age, which is a type my age and my age is a type number, Let's change that to string. As you can see, we have an underlying error. So type string is not assignable to type number and the expected types com type comes from property age, which is declared here on type person. Okay, it's declared on type person and the age is a type my age, which is a number. So let's move back the number and we are okay. And we can share this uh, type person in a different variable. So let's say const user to be of type of person. And yeah, we have an underlying error. So let's say just my, so my user, I'm going to say. Okay, and this my user is a type person and has the name, age, and the email property, which are which the name is a type my name, which is a string age and so on. Okay, now let's see interfaces. So interfaces are similar to type aliases, except they only apply to object types. So let's say, let's create an interface. So I'm going to say here interfaces and let's create an interface by using the interface keyword. And yeah, I'm going to leave here the suggestion we have person interface 
and we have the name age and the email the same we have with a type alias okay we have a type person which is an object with name property which is a my name age my age email my email and the same we have your interface person interface the same thing is an object with name age and the email so the same thing we have here now why we may need the interfaces when we have type aliases okay and interfaces can extend each other's definition so extending an interface means you are creating a new interface with the same properties as the original plus something new so we have this person interface and i'm going to say now a new interface which i have suggested with the person interface too but i'm going to change that to admin interface and let's move let's remove also this number two now i have admin interface which has name age and email the same as the person interface but also is admin a boolean now instead of adding here the same name age and email we can remove them and just say here extend the person interface okay and now if we create a new variable so i'm going to say const and i'm going to say my admin which is going to be an admin interface you can see we have name john h 30 email and is admin and we don't have any error if i remove one of them we have the error because property name is missing in type h number h email is admin but required in type admin interface so we need to have that and also if we change from a string to a number also we are going to have the error so type number is not assignable to type string so we need to use the same shape we have created here with a name age and the email and also is admin here and also we can create here uh, we have my user yeah we have my user and i'm going to say my user two okay so const to be my user but i'm going to say my user two now and i'm going to use yeah the person interface which has a name age and the email or we can use the person type and we have the same thing that is the difference between interfaces and type aliases so with interface we can extend another interface and just add something new in this one and we are okay okay friends that's it all about this video now let's go to types and create a new file and i'm going to say uh, interfaces or yeah i'm going to say aliases and interfaces dot ts hit enter we need to go here and select all copy and let's go to this one and paste save let's close this i'm going to remove everything from here and save also close this object and now we are okay and that's it all about this video now if you like such a video don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much